Probably a lot of my regular viewers are wondering what a stomp bot is. And there's probably a lot of viewers to this video who found it because they were looking for a stomp bot. <laughs> well, this is a stomp box. At least this is my version of a stomp box because there's kind of an infinite number of ways that you can make your own stomp box. Uh, what it is, it's, it's a percussion instrument you play with your foot. This has a quarter inch jack here that plugs into an amplifier and inside of it there is a, a little pickup that helps to amplify the sound. Now let me show you the features of this stomp box and why I call it a multifunction stomp box. Uh, first of all, I've got a hole in one side so it can be played acoustically without any amplification and it sounds pretty good. Now what I've also done is I've put a little hole here that holds some tambourine jingles. And so if you want to use that with the beat, you also get kind of a a tambourine sound with it. So you can use it either way, plus the tambourines themselves, you just use it as a handheld percussion instrument if you want. Now, on the other side of this box, it's also a mini cajon, because it's got a thin piece of wood on this side, and there's a snare on the inside of that. So, so you can also play it as a cajon. I decided to make my stomp box about four inches high. The jack can drop into that hole and stick out one side like that. And now I can just glue up these mitered corners without using any biscuits. I should mention, if you're not a woodworker and you just want to build a stomp box, you don't have access to a miter saw or anything like that, you can just as easily cut some boards and just butt them up against each other. You could even nail them together, screw them together if you like. It's just that woodworkers get all excited over miter joints. <laughs> And I've cut a quarter inch piece of lumber that I'm just going to glue to the top. So I've sanded everything down nice and smooth and for the base what I've done is I cut another piece of wood to fit there and I don't want to glue this one on, I'm just going to screw it in so that I'll be able to get inside of the box. Rather than trying to find these individual symbols for sale, I found this tambourine at a music store for $10, so I'm just going to cut those off. They're just held in with that little pin that just seems to slide right out. Here's the system I've come up with to handle those tambourine jingles. I've cut little bitty pieces here. They're going to glue to each other just on the ends and then I'm going to glue both of those to here. I've cut two longer strips. a thin dowel that I can use to hold these little symbols in. I just need to run this through the hole. And then I'll run a thicker dowel through that middle hole. I cut off all of those dowel ends on both sides and then cut this one down so you actually have a handle on it and it'll drop down into that hole like so. I applied a few coats of lacquer to the box and now I can start to assemble the electronic parts which is really simple. This little jack will just drop down into that hole like I showed you earlier and then this nut screws on this side to hold it in place. All right, so this is my transducer, the little pickup. And what I need to do is just solder these two wires onto these two connections on the jack.
And I'm gonna stick this pickup down with a little hot melt glue. I've got half of a snare that's left over from when I built a cajon. And I wanna attach it on the inside of this back panel. This is eighth inch wood that's gonna go on like that. And I've been really struggling with all sorts of different woodworking ways of attaching this and really not figuring anything out. And then suddenly the solution hit me. If I tape both sides down, I actually get a better sound when this is played upside down like that. If you want some more detailed information on building the stomp box, click this link right here. If you're interested in building a cajon, click this link over here.